Good morning, good afternoon and good evening uh, to the whole world. I'm Rohan Shah and I welcome you all to Future Talk. Future is already here and what was impossible yesterday is already here and, and what is impossible today will be here shortly. The question is, are we ready? This is a unique platform where we discuss the future in the different industry from the experts and uncover the opportunity uh, 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 that are awaiting for us and what action can we take today to lead the best life tomorrow. I strongly believe that it's the time that we unthink the way we do things and rethink everything what we do. And with that, today we will talk about a very interesting topic in today's global business marketplace. The ability to communicate effectively and multiculturally holds significant importance. It is utmost important to manage the multicultural expectations. More businesses are entering into the global market. It is vital for businesses to understand that cultural differences can affect how they perform in the local markets they are targeting. And to talk about the future of globalization, cultural diversity and business, we are pleased to have Viviana Pramazi with us today. And before we get into the discussion, let me introduce Viviana. Viviana is a social entrepreneur and a founder, of, founder and director of a global mindset development at Malta. She is specialized in intercultural management and a senior faculty in cultural intelligence at the University of Malta. She is a consultant and a trainer in intercultural communication for the Institute for Education. She holds a PhD in sociology of migration and MA in intercultural and interreligious conflicts management. She is accredited faculty in intercultural management by Hofstad Insights. Viviana has a rich and diversified experience to work with multiple clients, corporates and non-profit organizations in Europe, North America, Middle East and Africa. She has provided expert advice, consultancy and training in education, security, HR, marketing and management to companies, social enterprises, charities, healthcare centers, sports organizations and international and national banks. Welcome Viviana once again. It's absolutely and truly pleasure having you today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ron. Also for me, it's an honor to be here and to discuss with you about in these like future talks about the future of work and also like cultural diversity. So thank you very much for having me. Sure, sure. Thank you. So so Viviana, before we before we deep dive into the future, I want to ask you, uh, I want to ask you that what was your inspiration behind starting the, your firm, uh, the Global Mindset Development, and, and how does it link to the future? So thank you for the question. Um, it, it is interesting because sometimes, like many of, um, let's say, the idea and the project of entrepreneurs, it started in a period of time of my life that was a difficult one. And I was already in Malta, and I had like some health issues and also some um, I was looking also for some new opportunities and I actually like went back to my background and all my studies and my education that, that you just mentioned and Malta was also the right place and the right time to start this in, in a different way. So this is why I started Global Mindset Development and I call it specifically Global Mindset Development because for me it was not only culture or intercultural communication but was to help people to develop a mindset uh, or to change um, their mindset and to be open to all the world opportunities. So this is why I think it's really linked to the future and all the opportunities that the future can bring. Sure, 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 sure. That that's very fascinating, and I'm I'm really intrigued with this entire <laughs> entire subject. Like, and especially like you know more businesses today are entering this global market, and it, it becomes very essential for for businesses to to understand the cultural differences and how can it affect the the performance of the local market you know what are the cross cultural challenges you have experienced uh, or or come across in in which which is extremely essential for the businesses to be successful today so nowadays i think the way i i i i train people about cultural diversity is that can be really um, 
an opportunity for them to be more aware of cultural diversity and to develop um, more into the opportunities cultural diversity can offer internally for companies when they manage a multicultural team. Mm -hmm. And so they have to maybe improve their communication, even if they're working, let's say, in the same space, in the same office or working remotely. But th this can also improve the communication with their business partners if they are like foreign um, from other countries or with the international clients. And also we help companies to expand to different markets um, or also different, let's say, market niche, because nowadays also I'm in Europe, so in many European countries, you can find different communities, let's say different cultural and national communities. So there are already communities where you maybe you have to adapt to adapt your product or to adapt your way you are communicating and, and marketing and sell um, and sell your product. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very interesting. And and so so to to follow up that for follow up on that, especially like you know the world has has suddenly changed faster than they, they ever before, right? We have, we have of course, always anticipated that the, the remote working and the globalization in the, in the digital world. But we, we, we have not uh, anticipated that it's going to happen so fast and so soon. The, the current pandemic has forced all of us to adopt these, these changes faster, faster than ever before, right? And the problem of communication, uh, communication across the culture is, is not only limited in the case of case of the physical works workplace, you know, or you are working in the same office, but but the challenge remains, I think, uh, more when we work remotely. Right. So how can we manage this this remotely in such uncertain timings today? Yes. And that is extremely interesting, as you mentioned, because. Maybe you can realize that you have some communication issues in, in the same space, in the same office. But then when they are remotely, maybe you, you are, it's not easy to identify them that you actually have a communication issues. And I can give you an example because it's like my, my clients, some of my Maltese clients, they work also with India. And one of the problems, they say one of the issues, is the Indians, they never say no. So this is cultural. And actually, the Indians are saying no to them. But then being this remotely, so being them in India and the Maltese in Malta, all this communication and, and the yes and no is even more complicated. So yeah. if they are not aware, they, the risk is that there is this communication that actually is like um, pause for weeks or months because you are waiting some, for an answer or you thought that, that that answer was yes, but then you don't have your product or your service or your... Um, the task delivered. So I think there is more awareness now, also because, as you mentioned, like we many companies now we're forced to go online and to have like people working remotely, um, even if still in the same country. Or also, um, also I, I, I think that we will discuss this also a little bit later because people also change their their uh, migration projects. So you have people that maybe they they. They are coming back to their country of origin, but they're still working with the company in, in, in the country they were before. So there is a lot going on in like working remotely and also in the challenges. And again, like communication is the easiest one maybe to identify, but then communication is also linked to a different leadership style, um, a different like team management. So the more we are able to, through all our work and our training to bring all, let's say, this difficult conversation uh, and up, and we can then be able to tackle them and find solutions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, 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 that's very interesting. And, and since you mentioned about the leadership, we'll come to the leadership later. I have a couple of more uh, uh, thoughts, so I'll just spark leadership uh, for, for, for right now. But, but especially today, like you know, in, in, in general, uh, lots of people across the globe migrate every year to different countries for the job or for the project assignments or and and they'll keep moving you know uh, keep moving however the dynamics have changed significantly since this pan pandemic you know how the companies societies will will react to this and address the future needs like you know what what happens because uh, even like for me the the all my international projects have 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 come to a lot of hold or it's been my travel has been almost uh, uh, almost stopped 
right? So, so how how the, the, this entire what, what do you see or what the companies are looking to uh, right now? So, I, I think we can identify like two issues, like considering two areas. One is what you mentioned. So, travel is uh, has been like more difficult through all these months. So, uh, companies working uh, internationally with other and people that they had because they were managers, so they were used to travel to different countries to maybe check. Uh, a product, a service, uh, an office, um, they, they, this year they, they couldn't. So uh, they had to improve their communication and, and all, also let's say the, the, pro, the procedures also in their company. But of course there is something that is missing. That was that like um, personal, like being like face to face and that was also let's say a faster way maybe to solve some issues. So we are adapting, but at the same time, we are waiting to that time where we will be able also to uh, get back to travel and meet in person. Probably we'll, be, we'll do this less than before because now we know also that we can save time and money for, for some things. Yeah. But of course, for others, there's still a need to, to meet in person. The other is about what I also mentioned before. So the change in the migration projects of many um, expats or people living abroad because either they maybe they, they lost the, uh, the employment and so in this case they have to like reconsider uh, where to live and, and, and how to live and how they can where to find a job but also even if they uh, maybe they still have their employment um, they are thinking because I think this pandemic made also evident that we need also a support network we need to uh, have our social support and and we are also worried with we are i think we are constantly worried about our our loved ones so um, i know in malta and in italy also there were like many that they decided to go back to their country even temporary but with this idea that temporary we don't know how long it will be uh, so we have people that from peru they decided to like flew back to the to their country or uh, uh, from like Northern Africa or either like between Italy and Malta or UK and Malta. Um, so this is something also from a, an HR perspective, uh, HR should consider. So maybe um, again, if, if you want to keep an employee because it, it was a good employee, you can also consider to have them like working remotely for a while. It, of course, this is also need, let's say uh, an higher, um, trust so and trust is another issue across culture and across working remotely that we are we have to be aware yeah, yeah, yeah. and I can, I can totally correlate like you know uh, and and since since as, as we said you know that this this remote working the communication and the trust has become a very important important today because you know first of all we don't know the entire culture we don't know the how how people work and behave so so the trusting itself is is a first question and effective communication when, when, whenever you are in person, you know, the communication, of course, even if you are from the, dif even if you speak different language or a different, uh, 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 the, but still in person has his own, own advantages, right? So, so I, I, I can, I can totally see that even if I, I can totally see in, in my work, you know, how, uh, how important the, the communication has become so, so far. So, so, but I, I, I think, uh, Viviana, I think it's, it also has a lot of advantages in terms of, let's say, now, if I want to specially, uh, we want to talk about uh, uh, the cultural diversity again, right? In this time of globalization, I think cultural diversity is very important. Uh, uh, com and compared to the challenges, I think it has more benefits. And in order to be truly global, uh, inclusion of cultural diversity is also very important, right? Uh, especially for the if you if, because every every conversations, every conferences I've, I've attended or every talks I have been listening in last uh, in, in in last six months, like you know, uh, due after the lockdown, we all talk about creativity, we all talk about innovation, we all talk about co-creation, we all talk about. Um, uh, uh, so many different uh, the concepts, right? The the I think that the 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 diversity of the people can bring when they work and come together, they bring the most creativity or innovation. I think that has uh, better to image. So so what is your take on that and how? And I think company should leverage that uh, the globe uh, the diversification into their own benefit, right? So so what do you what is your take on that? Or how? What is your experience to that? 
that is a, a very interesting and important point because there are a lot of studies that actually show that companies that are more diverse are also more creative. Yeah. So now the, I think that the, the step uh, further that we have to make is that, and for me, this is also extremely important. It's not only having the diversity in a company, it's not about the numbers. So it's not about like how many nationalities, how many um, like different people, let's say you have, in, you have in your companies, but this also is how much you value their diversity. So I was also in one like of these conferences and one of the speakers said a few, a few weeks ago, uh, opinions are not equal yeah. in the sense, that not because we don't consider them equal, but because we want to value the, the difference and the different opinions and to consider all of them um, at, at their, uh, let's say at their maximum. And, and also, this is also why then we always link to diversity inclusion. Because then what is important is that the people, they can give more and also be more creative, be uh, less afraid of also innovate if they feel that they are included in a company, if they feel that they are value, if they feel that their opinion uh, count yeah. and, and yeah. is considered. Sure, 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 sure. That's, 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 that's really fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, now coming uh, coming to the the leadership point which we were discussing earlier, right? So let's let's focus on the leadership for a while, and working across the different culture, uh, le and leading them has its own challenges again, right? For a leader, so leaders of the leaders of the future needs to be of course more flexible, uh, more adaptable, uh, working with the different culture as well as the working people. Uh, so do you think this is going to be one of the most essential skill? For the future leaders to uh, to be more flexible, be more empathetic, be more adaptive, uh, and be more human centric, rather than being more I, I would say bossy, right? So I, I don't know what the right word is, but but do you think that's the uh, that's the skill required for the future leaders? Yeah, and I think this is also not new, but still we need to uh, like speak about it because yes, for sure. Um, I think there is awareness that an approach to this a human center approach is now it, it gives like better results. But then an approach that also consider the cultural diversity for me is again is to have this global mindset. So to be really able to listen and to listen to the different perspectives. Um, and also then to be able to include all the perspective in your new like service product or, or leadership style of course it's not easy because also um you have you have experienced leader that maybe they have like years of experiences yeah. and they uh, especially if they are used to only work let's say in one country one culture now they have to make let's say this switch um but it is it, it is truly something that can give like back to the company a lot more because again it open opportunities it open like new markets it open like new new niche it open new new project maybe new networks sure 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 definitely and 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 and, and lastly uh, lastly before before we end this you know uh, there's a uh, what is the fundamental so of course we talked about a lot of challenges a lot of diversity and everything but i think as a human we are we have a lot of similarities also right which connects us very easily across the different culture right so what is that one, what is that fundamental similarities between the human across the globe or across the culture and how can we harness them or leverage in, in, in this time of globalization, right? Uh, so, so yeah, how, how can we leverage those similarities and what are those similarities? Yeah. I think when I, when I read the question, I thought this was the most difficult one because, <laughs> or, or, or the easiest one. So uh, let's say a naive answer could be, we are all human. So uh, actually, if we start from a human center approach, considering, let's say, the needs of, of us as human, we will find probably more similarities. So on a, on a more, uh, let's say, less naive and more also conscious answer, I think the pandemic show us how all the similarities that we have a global pandemic, even if it was like treated differently by the different countries, we saw also different cultural approach to that but during the pandemic, I created a series that I call it Far From Home, a talk with a friend abroad, where I had the opportunity to talk with 40 um, friends. And also some of them, they were not 
friends, but content and people that contact me to be uh, guests in, in, in the talk. And the aim was sharing what we were going through and also the resources. And I think this is something all of us as human beings, we, we need and we want. We need someone that care. Yeah. And, and so someone, and also we, we want to share what we are going through. Yeah. And also we need to find resources. And so something that we found now was also, I think one resource that we found is that we have as human beings, an amazing um, skills and capacity to adapt. Yeah. Resilience is also another key word. Of course, it's not easy. And also, I think what we have to say now is that we are all struggling. In even if we still have a job, even if we yeah. we are still healthy, but we are all struggling. And so, this is also what we uh, help us to feel more human and more connected. And this is what we need. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and this is so important, right? That that human, you know, the caring. For each other and I was I, actually I was going through I was reading one of your uh, recent uh, social media post uh, about the Italy that you know that they they believe in trust I think that was one of the recent post you know that to work with the with an with an Italy the trust is most important for them to to engage into the business I think let's say if I want to talk about India it is the same thing the trust is the biggest thing uh, I have worked across the across the different countries you know I think that is also one of the very important feeling and then I think that trust uh, the building that trust requires that you know the empathy or the care and and I think that is the that that is the no matter where you are what culture you you are in you know that uh, the building that trust and caring for a human I think that is something which is which is common to all right so I think we all uh, have to be empathetic to each other and I think that's the the fundamental and or or we can say core of the businesses i think we we can we can put across so that's 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 perfect 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 yeah 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 so yeah uh, so I, I i think i think uh, that's that's really great you know thank you thank you very much viviana for such a wonderful uh, conversation it was it was superb insights and uh, i had uh, i had uh, and 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 i can surely uh, you know uh, tell you that you know we have been planning this talk since almost a couple of months uh, but actually, too, I had to do a lot of research because this is this is some some this one topic is something very different for me and uh, which I have never thought about it, right? So I had to do a lot of research before uh, I can get into a conversation. So it was it was quite interesting. And uh, so, do you do you, do you, before we before we end this? Uh, now, do you want to have any last minute uh, or uh, closing remarks or a last minute uh, to yes, the agree. public uh, or to the participants across the globe? Yeah. Yes, I would like, like to thank you for that. And also thank you because you did the research, because I think this is one of the most, um, the most important thing about this topic is to be aware of the existence of this topic and also to be aware of what, what are the implications, what is really, because it, it is about people and, and it is about also all of us nowadays and it, it, and it is for the future. So I really, I'm, I'm really like, thank you for. Sure, sure, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Viviana. And. It was truly pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. You, you take care. All right. Bye. Thank you.